Hi everyone, and here's a devotional for September 9th, 2021, Thursday. And, you know, I always think of Grandma Williams because her birthday would have been today. So I always remember that. And praise God. Okay. I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Psalms 3725 NIV. The righteous are not forsaken, and their children do not beg for bread, because the Lord is always with them, providing for their every need. He knows what they need before they ask. They trust that he will always provide, and he always does. Um, I want to clear up, clear up something here. Um, you know, when in later years, I've rethought that when... Um, because, you know, one could very easily say, you know, there are a lot of really good Christian people that are, are maybe starving out there. You know, what's that all about? You know, I don't know. You know what? Um, I don't know. Sometimes God doesn't meet our needs in ways that we think he should. We don't understand why he allows certain things to happen. And then free will comes into play in a big major way also. You know, people make choices and stuff like that, too. Um, my, the only, as close as I can come to that is that, you know, my husband, I, my, I lost my husband. He has gone home to be with Jesus and every day, you know, living, you know, being without him is very difficult and I could choose to get mad at God and say, I don't know why you took him away from me. Or I could say, God, I don't understand why, but I'm going to trust you anyway. And I know that you're going to take care of me anyway, even if your ways aren't the same as my ways or the things that, that I want aren't the same things that you would want. Um, you know, I've never gone without food for more than a day, I guess. Um you know, I've always had something to eat. It might not have at times been when I wanted it or what I wanted, but but I've never really gone without. So I don't understand that. And for those of you who have, I'm sorry that I don't understand that. And I am praying for you that God will, you know, provide for people's needs and stuff like that. You know, let's make that our prayer today. You know, if there's anything we can do or if there's someone we know of that, that is starving or going without, let's pray for them or let's let's pray and ask even ask God what we can do to help too. Um, but and that's another thing too, is like, you know, God uses us to be his hands and feet also. Um also I wanna say Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, this is my paraphrase. Basically, when they were going to get thrown into the fiery furnace, you know, if they didn't bow down to the, the statue of the king or whatever, you know, they said, we know God is able to deliver us. But even if he doesn't, we're not going to bow down to the king or to the statue or whatever it was. Um, even if he doesn't. Isn't that awesome? Even if God doesn't deliver us or you know, provide in the way that we think we want, or if he doesn't protect us, or if he doesn't whatever, we're still going to trust him because we know that he is, in his own way, he's providing for us in ways that he knows what we need. Sometimes we don't, right? So I hope that makes sense. I don't think I articulated that very well, but um, I hope it makes sense. But anyways, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.